University of Exeter's Cornwall campus and today I want to tell you about bowerbirds. To learn about bowerbirds we need to go on an adventure to the other side of the world. Bowerbirds are only found in Australia and New Guinea seen in the bottom right hand side of this map. Australia is shown in blue and New Guinea is shown in yellow and as you can see it's a long long way from the UK. What do bowerbirds look like? So here are 14 photos of different bowerbird species. And you can see that they all have generally the same body shape, but they vary hugely in their coloration. So the ones on the left hand side have mottled browns and creams, whereas the ones on the right hand side have much brighter, more attention grabbing colors, such as red, yellow, black, and blue. Some species even have crests that they can display. Bowerbirds can live in a range of habitats, from rainforests through to farmland and even in people's back gardens. And these birds are most famous for building these structures called bowers, which is where they get their name from. And these bowers are only built by males. And there's quite a lot of variation in bower style and decoration but generally they all consist of some form made of sticks, twigs or grass, kind of like a den. And they decorate these with coloured objects. And you can identify each species of bowerbird by the type of bower that they build and the decorations that they use. So for example, in the top right here, we have a satin bowerbird and this bird builds a, builds a bower that has two parallel stick walls and then they decorate it with blue objects. And here we can see this bird has used blue bottle lids, um, clothes pegs, and also there are some blue straws in there. Whereas in contrast, the Vogelkot bowerbird on the left hand side builds a far more hut kind of structure for their bower and then they've gathered a really big pile of red berries outside the front of the bower and have some orange petals to the side as well as a few other decorations. And these bowers can be quite big as you can see here in this photo of David Attenborough next to a Vogelkop bower. And so there's two main styles of bower that um, bower birds build and so the first is maypole bowers and so these generally consist of one or two maypoles that they then construct the rest of the bower around. So with the Vogelkot bower on the right hand side the maypole is actually in the middle um, of the, the dome like structure so you just can't really see it in this photo. And then the other kind of bower that different species of bower bird build is an avenue bower and the fundamental structure of these is the same it's two parallel walls of sticks or grass that are placed vertically into a foundation um, of sticks and grasses that are laid along the ground and again you can see the different color palettes and the locations of decorations that each species uses males use these bowers to try and impress females so here we have a bower of a great bower bird in Australia and inside the bower is a female and outside the bower is a male with a red decoration in his beak. So let's see how well he impresses her. Not sure she was particularly impressed by that unfortunately. And males actually learn how to build these bowers in much the same way that you might learn how to build a really good den to play in. And it can take them a really, really long time to learn how to build a good bower. So we think it can take them up to seven years. 
And on the right hand side here, we have a bower that's built by an experienced spotted bower bird. So it's got two parallel walls made of dried grasses. Uh, there's some green berries in the middle of the bower and piles of snail shells at either end of the bower. And on the left hand side, we have an attempt at, a, at the same kind of bower, but built by a far less experienced male. And you can see that the general shape is about right, but he's not built it out of the right material. So it looks like he's used sort of red sticks instead of dried grass. And he's not really gone to much effort in his decoration. There's a few small lines in the corner, but that's about it. So this male is going to have to practice a lot more if he's going to get good at building bowers. And males can also destroy the bowers of other males. So here we have a great bower bird bower on the left hand side. And the picture on the right hand side is that same bower about five minutes later. And what happened was that a neighbouring male bower bird came in and he pulled all of the sticks out from the bower and threw them around and basically flattened the whole bower within the space of about five minutes. But don't worry, the bird that owned the bower came back about 10 minutes later and then set about rebuilding it. And when I came back the next morning, this bower was fully rebuilt. You wouldn't have known that it had ever been destroyed. And bowers can also vary uh, depending on where they're located. So again, this is a great bower bird bower, but on the left hand side is a bower that's located in the country. And so you can see that the decorations are mostly natural. So there's some red berries, there's some green sticks um, and some green leaves. And if you contrast that with the bower on the right, which is one um, that's in a town, and this bird has gone and foraged decorations from people's houses. So he's got some hairbands, he's got a bubble wand, he's got plastic rings from milk bottles and things. And so this bird is actually using human litter to decorate his bower to try and impress females. So your challenge is to try and build your own bower out of things that you can find outdoors, like these sticks here. See if you can build your own bower, or even better, see if you can build a bower that's big enough as a den for you to use. You can also decorate it using things that you can find around and about. Happy building! Mm -hmm.